Tonight we have the key to the 2001 Porsche 911 Carrera 4, the 996 variant of Porsche's iconic 911 series. And today we're gonna to be able to take you on a drive and show you what it's like to power and steer and command this 300 horsepower, six speed manual 2001. Not a supercar, but a sports car. These cars are for sure not aging that well in the front. And actually this is one of the biggest complaints of the 996 variant of the 911 because Porsche owners complain that the front of the car looked basically identical to what the Boxster looked like. Of course, with a facelift in the 2002, the 996.2 variant, you had an update to the front of the car. Overall, the vehicle is still fairly good looking in general. I think this is still a good shape. It follows the iconic 911 shape and looks that you typically would see on the road in the early 2000s. And Porsche produced the 996 variant from 1997 all the way up to 2000, I believe four, when it was replaced with the 997 variant. Powering the 996 911 was a 3.4 liter flat six, putting out about 300 horsepower and 260 pounds of torque. It doesn't feel quick, of course, but it's still very fun to drive when it's matted to that six speed get rag manual transmission. If you look at the back here, of course you have this pretty sweet speed adjusted spoiler that pops out. Still looks good and kind of follows that iconic ducktail uh, spoiler of earlier variants of the 911. We get the dual exhaust, you know, a good looking bumper. This version actually comes with the parking sensors included as an option. You get the badge Carrera 4, so you don't forget what 911 you're driving. And overall, it's a good looking back. We soup around to the side here. This is the Cabriolet version. And you know, these cars these days, you can get for about 20, 25, 30 grand for a nicer example. And yeah, while the front isn't as good looking, they're still very, very fun to drive, especially if you can get a manual variant. Looking at the wheels here. So this version comes with the optional 18 inch turbo wheels that were featured on the 996 turbos and they're a little bit bigger, about one inch bigger. And we are wrapped here in 265 35s. Pretty great tire coming from Michelin, the Pilot Sports. In the front, the tire is a little bit smaller. And inside here, we actually have uh, drilled, ventilated four disc brakes. Popping the hood, show you a little bit more about the storage in this vehicle. Still get a decent amount of storage, fit a suitcase, something similar. And this is actually the CD player. So if I wanted to pop in, you know, my six CDs, I can go ahead and do that. Some other things as well. Underneath here, you get additional, I think toolkit, or there's a spare tire underneath in case you needed that. Show you what it's like on the interior of this vehicle. Full leather, black leather, which is an option in 2001. All right, looking left or right here. Of course, you have the typical Porsche starter, which is always on the left. The ignition's always on the left. Takes you back to the Le Mans days of Porsche when they were racing and the drivers would start outside of the car. You have power windows, which is an interesting feature. All the knobs, etc., are pretty nice still. Pretty great button feel across. This car actually comes with navigation, which is pretty crazy. In the middle here, you have your six disc CD changer that you can switch off from. Control uh, Porsche stability management. You know, in general, you have a decent amount uh, of control and tech in this car. In the middle here, you have the central tachometer, which is pretty much a, a Porsche staple. Here is your six speed manual. Reverse all the way on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. The shift is pretty long. It's not like a short shifter that you'd see in a GT3. It is definitely pretty long, but nice and snappy. It's got a good feel to it. Um, looking in the middle, you have where all your windows controls. Uh, I think this is an ashtray. Yep, an ashtray. Uh, rear controls as well. And on the side here, you have a little bit of storage. Open the rear to look at the engine. We'll go ahead and do that before we drive the car. 
Of course, here's your front button, and this car has the memory seats. Another very interesting thing about this car is that actually there is no uh, there is no storage at all outside of what's on the sides here. So there's no gearbox or lockbox or anything like that. And the manual sits underneath here. And here you can see the original manual. Uh, the original owner kept all the documents that you could possibly need that came with the car, which is pretty nice, but no glove box, which is pretty wild. All right, let's pop the back open and take a look at that 3.4 liter flat six. All right, taking a look at the engine here. 3.4 liter flat six, pumping out 300 horsepower. The 996 was the first generation where they moved away from air-cooled engines and into the water-cooled air. And you can actually see a bunch here in the back, which is nice, uh, as opposed to the newer models where you really can only control or see the uh, oil levels, etc. All right, let's drive it. All right, hopping in. I'm actually doing this review with my cousin, who's the owner. Say hi. Hi. Xander. All right. Nice. Pretty decent exhaust note. Thank you. And another beautiful night here in suburban Chicago. You actually learned how to drive stick in that parking lot, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the first thing you notice when you're driving is like, Clutch super easy, the shifts are seamless. Just a very fun car to drive. Let's test those brakes. Yeah, brakes are pretty good. I mean, for 25 grand, you bought yourself a great car. Right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's not a turbo, it's not a GT3, but that's not what it's supposed to be. It's just a fun, fun sports car to drive. The handling and posture are good. You, know, you feel great control when you're driving the vehicle. And in general, it's it's a good, you know, good control, good feel. Awesome Porsche driving experience that you'd expect. Zero to 60 is, I think, 5.5 seconds. Probably a little bit slower with the manuals. Nothing better than a 911 convertible. I mean, look at this beautiful night. So this car has a top speed of 170 miles an hour. And in 2001, you know, that was very fast. I wonder what it's like to get it up to that speed. Did you ever get it up to that speed, Z? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure he will soon. But 
this car MSRP was, I think, just a hair under a hundred grand in 2001. And you got a lot of car for that. And of course, you get the Porsche badge, an iconic 911. But, you know, it's really so much more. It's just that amazing feel, driving experience that you get in a 911. And I love the manual. Transmission's fantastic. Clutch is, the clutch is a little tight, but, you know, it's a great car to learn manual. If you're, you know, going to learn a manual transmission, it's a great car to learn on. Because, you know, you're not really worried about eating it or beating it up or anything like that. Now it has navigation, that's correct? Alright, so let's try it. Navigation, okay. It's not touch me. Right, so how does it work? That? Okay. Oh, map. Okay. So it has navigation. There we are. I don't think it works anymore. It's very cool that all the buttons are in great shape. Over 20 years later. And we were listening to the radio before. It's a great speaker system. I'd say it's pretty fun to drive. I mean, I've driven, what, the 2001 Ferrari 360? That's a Ferrari. I mean, this thing feels just as fast as that. That was the automated manual. But still, you know, it's like, it feels quick, fun driving experience. You get kind of like the whole package for 25 grand to get a sports car like this. I wish it had black wheels, right? Yeah. If it had black wheels, it would look a little bit more modern. You know, nothing against those turbo wheels, but, you know, they look do make the car look a little bit more dated than it actually is. Red line's about... 70, about 7K. You do get up there pretty quickly in first gear. You feel, you know, a lot of that torque working to get, you know, working for you. But these shits are so buttery. Yeah, I mean, at 46,000 miles, the car is in fantastic shape. You could pick one up for 25 grand. I mean, what's not the like? But yeah, you know, they have a little bit of that give. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, 
it gets there fast. top down of course and from what I know or what I've heard about this car and read about it the tops even though they're 20 years old they still hold up very well as opposed to some of the other convertibles that are in the same segment as this car and for what you can get for the same price Scott has, has cruise control. I think this car gets about 24 miles per gallon on the highway rated. Pretty darn good, 17 city. Three hundred horsepower. For a car that weighs like under 3,000 pounds. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, here's your navigation if you wanna. <laughs> there you go, USA map, California, Nevada. Yeah, we're in the wrong state for that one. How's the AC? Don't use it. You don't use it. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. All right. And that's really where you get all that, all that power. Stoppy fire actually. It looks old, but it ain't slow. <laughs> I tell you, when you got it, get on it though, it just kind of wants to go straight. You get all that power to the wheels.
definitely feel the Porsche stability management program picking in, picking in when you uh, when you really get that to that full torque band in first gear. I feel like you can definitely squeeze some more power out of this engine for sure. It's definitely something about a manual six-speed 20-year-old 911 now. Alright, anything else? I think that's that's it for review. Really appreciate you guys taking a look at the channel. Appreciating old cars like this, 20, 2001 Porsche 911 Carrera 4. We love old cars on this channel. We also appreciate all your subscriptions, all your likes, all your comments. And hey, if you're not subscribed, which I think most of you who watch my videos aren't, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out makes me want to put more videos out like this for you guys but yeah i'm shifty stand really appreciate your time and stay chill